Hello and welcome back to Arcanum of Steamwork and Magic Obscura, where we have uh, properly arrived on the Isle of Death. Thanathos. Very inspiring name. Uh, but someone has lived or has to be living here because we have a little tent here, so. He is some sort of survivory going on, despite the rather barrenness of the Isle, it looks like. So, it seems a uh, blue map, so we just, uh, I guess, walk around. Oh, it's a big island. So, yeah, we are probably just going to have to do some research. I suppose the resting boss on the southernmost tip of the land. So, we could just head straight to as south if we can make it on this island. So, let us do that, because we're finding, looking for the remains <laughs> of... Uh... Can I get to kill someone, please? Huh, yeah, so we have a jungle environment that we're in now. So, with new monsters, like those flying bat demon thingies. Interesting. Continuing on our journey, because... Uh... <coughs> ah, so it is still on turn base, that's good. Greater Gorilla. I am curious how much damage uh, uh, Raven did. Oh yeah, quite a bit on that. Uh, yes, he's dangerous with that bow of hers. Oh yeah, now we even have nice jungly sounds. No plants though that we can recover or such. It would be nice if we could grab some herbs here, but I don't see them growing about. Oh well. Continuing on. <laughs> More apes. Great. They are good source of experience though, so I don't mind too much. Yeah, there's gonna, probably going to be a fair bit of uh, combat in this episode. Because, well, we're just exploring the Isle of Death. I'm not sure if there's actually all that much to find except for, well, Nasrudin's remains, which we're looking for. Now, I am curious. So, here it is, because, uh, yes, I just noticed this, we have like a legend here. The World of Arcadum is presented by Troika Cartography Associated. So, uh, units rises on the second, uh, units or summits, uh, rise on, this, uh, on a secure of land Design that limit circa Tartar Read 64 per, per unit. What does that mean? That's very weird. Also, the sounds are very weird and spooky. So, continuing on. Oh, look. What are these crocs? I think they're supposed to be sort of imps of this world. Yeah, shot to the heart, and Raven is to blame. She gives elves a bad name. Continuing on ever southward. Leprous monkey! That doesn't sound good. I don't even know what that thing was. What was it? A fever bat. That also sounds like some sort of poison or diseased animal. Through some mountains here it seems. Okay, well we're pretty much on the most southern wise tip of the land. We could descend a little bit further south. Let's do that. We might eventually find the coast and then we're definitely found the most southern type of uh, Arcanum. It's fun that you can actually, you know, real world travel as well. And it's basically an open world. It's not bad use, but it's a fun experiment nonetheless. Okay, so we go just ever further south. And then we should eventually reach the beach again. What is that? Very colorful tentacle flowers.
That is a colorful tile set, this. We've not really uh, had uh, any jungles that we explored before. But they made the effort for just this one island that there's actually not ever believed that much to find on this island except for, well, what we're hopefully looking for, else we're here for nothing. How close are we to the coast? Pretty close! And the common music is playing, so that's nice. Ah, we are now suddenly out of the jungle. That would indicate that we're probably reaching the end of the landmass here. Yeah, here we have the more desolate beaches again. Five the beach and then you die. Wow, this doesn't look good. Thing seems like we're seeing some things that most people will never see. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, definitely not as much work <laughs> on this land over here because yeah, who expect me to ever go this far south? Still not entirely with the coast yet. Now we're entering a long desert beach. Wonder if there's actual coast that we will run into. Ah yes! Here we are! Well we've reached the southernmost tip of the land, I feel. Can we move south in here? Well, I suppose we can go over there. Let's find the southernmost tip of the land. Which I think might be here. We've completed the prophecy, sort of. Wait, does it go down? It does go down a little bit more. Yeah, it does go down a little bit more. So, prophecy not yet completed. So technically, the coast should be like going down a little bit more here. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much to see here. So, let's uh, guess we'll go up and see if we can explore the other side of the isle. Maybe if we go along the coast here, we might uh, find some stuff. And towards the near the boat's landing point. <coughs> leprous monkey! <laughs> Death monkey! You shall not give me leprosy monkey! <coughs> Go shoot the leprous monkey! I'm not gonna have one of those, uh, what you might call it, 12 monkey situation here. You'll kill them much quicker than that. Monkey swarmers. There's a lot of monkeys on these aisles. They're only level three. But you know, they do about as much damage as most monsters. <laughs> wow, I'm missing them a fair amount. Help, I'm getting hit on by monkeys! Oh, we got, oh uh, that monkey really hit me in the face! Bloody monkey! Yeah, main monkey! Oh, there's another monkey! Yeah, dead monkey! I'm the monkey killer! Alright, let's see the space. Yeah, there's another one. I got healed in the meantime, that is nice. Hmm. 
No, no sign of a Masculin's grave so far. Just monkeys. Maybe Masculin became a monkey. Battling monkey. Well, we should have like automaton, so we have robot versus monkey. And even, you know, Jeffrey is killing monkeys, you, uh, you know those monkeys aren't really uh, badass. Time to um, kill the monkey. Jeff kills the monkey. Right, so... We're not really seeing uh, any graves here, so I think we'll uh, do a little bit of a uh, circle about where we go like sort of like towards the center of the island. That might be an idea. So whoop, whoop, we'll make it all spirally. That kind of looks cool. So, and there we go, half a spiral. Let's go! It's got probably gonna be a lot of enemy counters. What are these? Greater gorillas. They are a better threat. And they give more experience points, so that's better than monkey. Stop damaging my weapons, I need those. Well, sort of need those. My party's pretty good at killing as well, but uh, I like to keep my swords. Thank you very much. Oh, well, looks like we finally found something on our little uh, spiral adventure. So let's just actually uh, go and see the village of the Ashark tribe. Ah! It seems to be filled with, uh, with more monkeys. Hang on a second. We were brought here by a ship of an undead pirate. This island is filled with monkeys. This is not uh, the Isle of Death. We have just stumbled into the search of Monkey Island. This is just a monkey island. Oh god, but three but I'm oh god three but the mighty pirate. Where's your stuff? No, oh, that's stuff. Anyone ever know where Nashville is? And I am grabbed in some sort of uh clamp lovely. Hmm, maybe the party can kill that, whatever. Ooh, magic bow, that is nice. And a staff. Hopefully it's not cursed. Right, let's explore further. Maybe there's more of something valuable amongst these ruins of the Ashlark tribe, which apparently now is just filled with the lesser blue monkeys. <laughs> On the plus side though, the monkeys are doing wonders for our experience gain. But I was hoping we'd find some people that can maybe point us to civilization or the remains of these uh, of things here, but it looks like it's just ruins really. Definitely remains of a tribe. Uh, well, since uh, we won't have talking cannibals here with fruit hats, I guess we'll keep on searching. At least we got something valuable out of it. The search continues on the world map. Let's go. Okay, I was apparently right the first time, but it's just, it's very picky. You have to be exactly like in this spot for it to register a uh, area called Land Bridge here. And that is where I think we'll need to be. And then you even need to kind of 
No way you're going to read. No, it's here. Yes. Very well hidden. Very sneaky. They should have put some clues uh, on this island to find uh, this place. Maybe you map him in the, in the lost village or something. But yes, here we are. What a nice little land bridge. And all I am all the killing of the monkeys really did to not make me a lot stronger. Hello, there's a monkey. Yeah, you're gonna make me level up now. See, there you go. Now, I didn't hear the level up sound, so maybe I don't level up anymore. It should be sad. Yeah, no, I didn't level up anymore, so 50 is the actual final limit of uh, stuff. Even though you gain experience points and uh, the meter still up, you're not getting anything of it anymore. Wonder if there's mods to do something about that. I am assuming there is. Hello. Stone monkey. Yeah, I'm definitely putting the monkey island theme somewhere uh, under this island exploration. I might check before the next episode if there are like uh, mods that can indeed give you like more stuff. Ooh, nerf pills, always like those. And pretty much the ingredients for improved reflex things. Both of them. Bosses, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but we'll, we'll take everything we got with us. Yeah, I just hear do 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 it just wastes like a lot of combat time. <laughs> oh my god, we see you, a Marty Ogre. Yeah, yeah, come and try and hit us, you'll fail. For a great mage, Jeffrey, you're not doing much maging, do you? Bloody monkey. Thank you. I'll find a chest here. Get some valuables. Still not saying no to valuables. Okay, let's see, there's more, more monkeys to fight for. Apish Shaman! I played that in Pathfinder! Ha ha! Yeah, kill. Can't get the shape change into a giant ape. It's very cool. And walk around with a big ape. Very cool. Oh, this ape does magic. Not for long, it doesn't. Now it's all dead. Kill more. Forest apes. Do 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 Okay, finally fought through the armies of monkeys and found the exit. Bloody hell, that's not an, uh, an easy path. So, that's a house. Harry, a shell house. Let's see who is there. Elf wizard. Okay. Is he wearing a pointy hat? Is that how we can tell he's a wizard? Well, let's speak with him. What do you want of me? I did not choose to live on this island for its ambience. 
I chose it so I wouldn't have to entertain fools. Leave me be. You see an old elf in worn, tattered robes. He seems a bit annoyed by your presence. I'm not a, look, I'm not here to you, but I'm looking for a grave. That is quite the fool's journey, just to find someone's dead body. Yeah. I'm afraid to ask. But whose grave would you be looking for? No, I'm looking for the final resting place of Nasruddin. Of course. Searching for the great Nasruddin. Ha! <laughs> the great Nasruddin. What was so great about him? Damned fool, if you ask me. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know much about him or his religion. It's all for, honestly a little bit of uh, just uh, standard glittering religious stuff. You seem a little bitter about it, though, old chap. What? How dare you, old man? Oh. Do you have any idea who you're talking about? Nasruddin was the wisest and most benevolent elf in the history of Arcanum. He saved us all. And that includes you. So I recommend you keep your comments to yourself. Are you sure about that, Virgil? I don't know if he did all that. We, we don't know if he's what. I don't, I don't know nothing about the this, this sort. Except that he banished some people. Who are apparently evil. That don't make you worse. That makes you a police officer. Oh? And you think you know about Nasruddin, young man? Who are you to tell me about that old worthless elf? I apparently could just listen to this. Worthless? Why, I ought to... No, I'm not going to sink to your level, old man. Well, you can do Nasruddin that. Nasruddin would have had more patience with men of your kind, and so will I. I don't have to defend him. Yeah, good, because I, I, I don't know if your defense is pretty good. I don't think your defense is pretty good. It's pretty bad. Oh, of course you don't have to defend him, young man. The old elf was completely incorrigible. There's no defense whatsoever for individuals of such low character as he. You've chosen well not to waste your words on the likes of Nazruddin. Okay, that's a bit mean the other way, I think. You're testing my patience, old man. Another bad word about Nazruddin, and it might just be the last one you say on both feet. Oh, we're gonna we get a fortin. One another? Uh, so we're gonna get a fortin? Uh, Virgil, perhaps you ought to keep your voice down with our new friend here. Uh, but Raven, okay. Ah, now there's the voice of reason, and from such a beautiful young elf. You know, in my younger days, I knew a girl who looked a lot like you. She had the most wonderful name. Let me see, what was it? I suppose it would translate to something like the Silver One. Okay. Yes, I also know someone like that. Yes. She's... She used to tell me about a great man she once knew. She told me that he taught her a great many things. That he was much like her own father. Okay. It sounds like. Are you talking about the Silver Lady doing hanky panky lore or stuff? Because I don't want to know about that. She's a bit, uh, well, I, I don't mind them doing it, uh, but I just don't need to hear about it, you know? Ah, yes. Make sure to pass on my greetings to your mother. She was such a wonderful child. And it seems she has a wonderful daughter as well. Greetings, Princess Raven. Oh, you're a princess, Raven? I, I guess that's logical. Why are you not wearing a pre-dress then? I will pass on your greetings to her. It will make her very happy to know you are here among us. Greetings, Nazruddin. Wait, oh, you're Nazruddin? So you're a prick who is a... But, but I thought you were inside of me. Well, you can be inside of... Uh, actually, hmm. You're a bit old, as I just said, but uh, I, I suppose it's for prophecy you can be inside of me. Or I can eat you, that'll also get you inside of me. But you're Nazruddin, really? I would say in all my glory... I'm afraid I haven't any left. Hmm. Well, uh, you saved the world from Aranax and all that. And more you? No. I delivered the world to Aranax. I put in place the system that he felt was his for the taking. I even imparted my elven arrogance to him. I must bear full responsibility for his actions. Okay, that's a bit weird, but uh, I guess if it's all systematic and stuff, that's real important when you can like that. So you're the woke, oh, you're woke Nasruddin now, yeah? 
bit dramatic now. He did uh, do the whole blow and being all evil things himself, right? You do not understand. He was my son. Oh. I taught him everything. Only to see him be carried away by his youthful temper. I should have seen it. There must have been a way to stop him before it came to what so, it did. So he was like an angry teenager? Oh, I heard legend, but I didn't think it was about angry teenagers. That sucks. It started in the age of legends. I was young, headstrong. I thought I could take on the world, and I did. I fought the good fight to protect the lesser races, as I arrogantly called them, from the chaos that raged everywhere. Dragons, demons, evil sorcerers, oh, I fought them awesome. all and won. And this, all before even the days of the Elven Council. It does sound like you made the world like a safer but much lamer place to live. How did you make a council then? Was there like an election? I gathered a group of idealistic mages together and we created an Elven Council for the good of all. That's no election. I really believe that. For a time, I suppose, it was even true. I really believe things began to change when we discovered a way to banish things from this plane of existence. Okay, what was that good then? It was the ultimate weapon. Once something was banished from this plane of existence, it could never return. You could also, you know, kill ultimate things. power comes ultimate responsibility and ultimate corruption. We were quick to use it on new and ever more terrible threats. The Bane of Cree, Krakatur, Gorgoth, Kurgan. So Aranax fit in all this? He was the last one, yeah? Sometime during all this heroic carnage, my son came of age. I quickly ushered him into the council, amid some of the others' protest about his young age and inexperience. And then it all came crashing down upon me. Look, are you certain you really want to hear all this self-pitying drivel? Well, yeah, apparently I do, because, uh, you know, I'm the living one, and, and you're barely your life, and Aaron X is like a teenager. He's not really like the, the big epic uh, adventure I all signed up for when I got crashed into a, a, two of a two thing with a blimp. But yeah, what did Aaron X actually do? Because that's all real vague. He had taken it upon himself to keep the balance, as he termed it. He believed that being a member of the Council validated any course of action he chose to pursue. This meant attacking anything he saw as a threat, such as a city that had begun building advanced technological devices. Vendegroth, it was called. Okay. He warned them to cease their destructive behavior and destroyed one of their factories to underscore his point. Justifiably afraid for their very lives, they swiftly constructed a device that could destroy even the most powerful wizard. He responded by calling on forces that few of us had ever seen, and wiping not just the city, but the whole province of Vendegroth from the face of Arcanum with one blow. That's pretty epic magic. I wish I could learn that. Now, actually, that's not probably pretty evil. And when I get drunk, I sometimes break things I don't think, and I don't think I want to break like a whole province. That would be, well, I would be regretful about that. He felt himself betrayed when the Council condemned his actions. He showed no remorse. In his arrogance, he was sure he would be vindicated. I cast the deciding vote to banish my own son. If I must die, I will be the last, he screamed as he hurled the spell that brought an end to the Council, the Age of Legends, and my will to live. It was a harsh dawn that morning on the plains of Brodgar. And it was there in the shadow of the Black Spire that our armies met in the most terrible battle that our kingdom has ever seen. Cool. Got to see. As the sun set, only four of us were still alive to witness the destruction we had brought to pass. I found Aranax among the corpses of our decimated armies, and it was there that I condemned my own son to the void. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost too. Apparently they didn't make shoes in the Age of Legends. In the end, 
with our combined might that Aranax was subdued, and I watched my own son fall into the horror of the void. But such was the fury and power unleashed by this conflict that the very fabric of reality was torn asunder. With our remaining energy, we were able to seal the rift with powerful wards, and the Ring of Brodgar still stands today as a monument to my son's destructive pride and my own unforgivable failure. So you were a shitty dad, yeah? When I regained consciousness, I was on the shore of Thanatos. I'd regained just enough energy to seal myself in a regenerative shell. I remained that way for a thousand years. No one had ever stayed in a shell for anywhere near that amount of time. Somehow, my magical hibernation extended my life much beyond that of even the most powerful elven mages. So you're aware that there's like a whole latent worship in you thinking you're like some kind of messiah and you're actually dead? I'm well aware of the whole Panari tomfoolery, yes. When I emerged from my regenerative state, I travelled to the mainland. I suppose I thought I could somehow live among the world again. After I spoke with that Mannix fellow, I knew I was deluding myself. Oh, the saint? Didn't he, he, he tell you how the Panori began? He did not know much. Mostly some fanciful notions mixed with bits and pieces of history. As near as I was able to put together from speaking with him, Kryn Urden, the last surviving member of the Council, started the Panari simply to maintain the wards, to periodically strengthen them, as it were. And did you tell Manax who you were, then? After I listened to his insane beliefs for what seemed like hours, I hinted that I had actually known Nasruddin. He was already too far gone. He would not have believed any of my protests or denials of my godhood. He most likely would have interpreted the whole thing as some sort of test, I suppose. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and are you aware that the gun got murdered? When Mannix disappeared, I knew that something of that nature must have transpired. Yeah, were you uh, doing that? I decided it was no longer my place to play a god. Who am I to decide who is right? When I took on that role before, well, you have already heard what happened then. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna need your help now, because apparently they think oh, I'm like a reincarnation because I crashed in a blimp. And uh, then, uh, you know, it was all these swords trying to kill me, and then they were apparently working for Aranax because he can't fit through a door. And that's it, that's how he took some dwarves to push through that door. And, uh, well, he, maybe he finally can push enough dwarves to get through the door, and then he goes kill me because everyone thinks I'm you. I feel as if I've been waiting to hear those words since I awoke those many years ago. Really? I would not have guessed that. I hoped it would that. never come to this. Why, Aranax? Why can't you see the folly of the path you've chosen? What are you going to do about this situation? I mean, he's your son. Why do I have to do it? I'm no longer the living one because you're not bloody dead. I fear there is nothing I can do. I am old, tired. I do not believe I could stand up against my son now, even if I could find the heart to try. Uh, so he's all powerful and stuff still, yeah? We do not know what life in the void is like. If oh, maybe it's real nice. life. Who knows what sources of power could be found on the other side? So, do we stop him with like a big gun or something? I can think of only one possible strategy to defeat him now. You must retrieve the Vendegroth device that was meant to destroy him. What's a Vendegroth device then? And the whole, you said whole Vendegroth was like boomed. And so it was, above ground. There are many catacombs and tunnels lying beneath the surface. Some of the members attempted to retrieve it to use against Aranax, but they never returned. We were forced to battle him without it, and you know the consequence of that. So, what does this divorce do exactly? And also, what in the people then go into the catacombs and then get out and make like, their whole thing new again, yeah? Extremely powerful mages have the ability to regenerate themselves whenever they are badly hurt, as I did. If one is powerful enough to hurt a master sorcerer gravely, 
The mage will retreat into his regenerative shell and emerge stronger than ever. Oh, he's like a saint. The device is the only way known to disrupt the regenerating shield. I mean, I'm just saying, he's like a saint. That's all mean, that's cheating. So disrupting the field kills the mage then? Quite so. The technology of the device is designed to disrupt the field in such a way as to cause the shell to drain the life force instead of regenerating it. Quite gruesome to contemplate, actually. Further, it is said that one who is killed in this manner is forever separated from this world, with no chance of being returned magically or otherwise. Okay, that's good. Should have done that before, then. Why do you get the thing, then? I must conserve what little remains of my energy to banish you to the void Wait, once what? you have retrieved the device. The banishment spell is rarely performed by a single mage. Its power requirement is so great. Why are you going to banish me? That was not normal something you said. Certainly. If we were to wait for Aranax to breach the wards, I fear the loss of life would be immeasurable. Yeah, but, but I don't want to go to the void. The irony of all this is not lost on myself. One might almost believe the prophecies to be true. No. It does appear that you are instrumental in halting this cataclysm. If only this were not necessary. I had hoped if Aranax ever returned, he would have realized the error of what he had done. Well, he seems all like evil and stuff, and be all like, Ooh, I'm a spooky ghost, I'm going to destroy everyone you love, Ooh. Yes. Yes. It is obvious to me that he has committed himself to a path which can only end in his destruction. So what will you do once we retrieve that divorce? You must meet me at the site of the wards, the Ring of Broadguard as they are now known. The barrier between the worlds is thin enough there for me to be able to send you across by myself. I would suggest that you bring as much help as you can recruit, as it will be no easy task to defeat Aranax. I'll do it, but you need to clarify a little bit thing for me. What is it that is troubling your thoughts? So, what, oh, the Panara, so, uh, why are we hidden then? The world out there is not mine. It only serves to remind me of my failure. Everyone I knew, everything I held dear is gone. I myself should have died long ago. Besides, I do not fancy being worshipped as a god. I know the feel, but now I think I'm like your, your, your reincarnation or something. I pity you, then. I received a taste of their hero worship from Mannix, and I can tell you I didn't like the taste of it one bit. No, it's kind of annoying. Hold on there. Do you two realize exactly what you're talking about here? Perhaps this is an interesting philosophical debate for you two, but we're talking about the foundations of the Panari religion here. Yeah, well, we already discovered the Panari religion is real rotten from within. I mean, if you're not dead... Yeah, he ain't dead. That means you're not his reincarnation. No, good, ain't it? Where the bloody hell does that leave the rest of us? Are any of the prophecies true? No. Have all of us Panari just been running around half-cocked for the last 2,000 years? Well, I, I, I don't know about that. I don't, know, I don't have time to look in all your pants. And, uh, you know, we had fun with that uh, with that Gestiana cult, so that was good. You weren't half-cocked there, were you? <laughs> you were like full-cocked and stuff, yeah. Easy, young Virgil. I know how all of this must make you feel. And I apologize for making light of your beliefs. Unfortunately, I don't have the answers you're seeking. Okay. I mean no disrespect, Nazruddin, but if you don't have any idea as to what's going on here, then you'll forgive me if I'm having a few doubts concerning the validity of my newfound religion. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Good, Virgil. If there is one thing in life that one must learn, it is to question everything. Oh, you decor, In the end, I'm you? sure you will have the answers that you seek. And whether or not this is all the fulfillment of a prophecy or just random chance, does it change the gravity of our situation? Would you do anything differently if you knew one way or the other? No, I wouldn't. And I will see this until the end, regardless of the reasons behind it. Thank you, Nasruddin. At the very least, your wisdom warrants a religious movement. 
even if its followers tend to be a bit soft in the head. Yeah, like, like you, like never mind. Uh, okay. I feel as if I've been waiting to yeah, hear those words yeah. since I awoke. I fear so. there is nothing I can do. I am. I can think of it. And so it was. Extremely powerful. Quite so. You must search the ruins of Endigroth yeah, we'll in the wastes where the city once lay. I do not know exactly. Well, I'm off to Endigroth then. Bye. Well, that was a whole revelation and stuff and a good long episode, so we'll leave it here. Join us next time when maybe I'll have a mod installed so we can get more levels, but uh, we're off to Vendigroft, that's gonna be fun. Till the next one, bye-bye.